So Merry Christmas to me. I'm going to do an unboxing video here for a figure that has been out for a million years already. I've <laughs> been out since last year. The uh, Transformers Universal Monsters Draculus uh, crossover figure, which came out for the 90th anniversary of the original Dracula, 1931. And, uh, I mean, I have, I've been having an on-again, off-again relationship with uh, collecting Transformers. Uh, my first video on this channel was my custom uh, Herbie, which was going to be a one-off. Then I started collecting the um, uh, core class uh, Transformers, because they were nice and small and cheap. And then over COVID, I kind of got carried away with um, actually collecting full-size Transformers secondhand, because uh, modern prices are something to balk at. And uh, then I'm sort of like, eh, I don't really know, I've committed myself to that, but then I actually can't even sell <laughs> the collection that I have, so I might just end up keeping it, in which case eventually I suppose I'll do a video about my Transformer collection, blah 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 blah. Anyways, I've seen this uh, Draculus figure around, of course, since 2021, but uh, balked at getting it because the price of modern Transformers is insane. However, um, it was the double whammy of Christmas and my birthday. Um, over the holidays. My birthday's on December 27th. So a friend, knowing that I liked Transformers and that I love Universal Monsters, decided to actually get this for me. And rather than just rip it open, as one is wont to do on a Christmas, um, I'm actually going to do a little unboxing here. Um, we'll see if this video gets the <laughs> insane response that my, like, Japanese, like, tokusatsu videos do. Um, highly doubtful. Highly doubtful. But uh, here we go. One thing I do like about this packaging is that looks like an old VHS tape. I'm not sure why they went with that particular choice because it's not like Universal Monsters and Dracula and stuff are like so intrinsically associated with VHS tapes. Um, I mean, maybe somebody at uh, at Hasbro had the bright idea that they always watched Dracula on VHS or something. But it is a cute idea at the very least to uh, just have that little that little VHS tape look to it there. But uh, taking off the uh, the slip case here, and there he is. Um, does this actually come out? What is going on here? Oh, there's the, the actual tape look uh, part there. Why is this not opening all the way? Does it not open all the way? Uh, I don't know, whatever. Don't feel like fighting with this. Maybe it's to stop people from stealing them out of the toy stores. Which, uh, I'm frankly surprised this figure was intact, given that uh, what issues have been <laughs> happening with the uh, figures and open packaging losing their heads and stuff like that. But there he is. Uh, let's uh, actually liberate him from his, his prison. There we go. Get those out. Oh, that's handy. There we go. Free up his arms. So I guess this figure is supposed to actually be a transformer. Like, not just a, like, kind of, oh yeah, he's a he's a crossover character, but, like, he's actually a Decepticon. Part of the Decepticon ranks or something. I don't know. I'd uh, love to hear the uh, uh, storyline behind that. Um, oh, there's his... His head. I am uh, fully aware that this this figure is a uh, remodel of the um, Mind Wipe. Is it the the Headmaster one, or I guess Titan's Return, uh, as they call it? But it, I'm I'm old and I don't like change, and I'm from the '80s, so uh, there will always be Headmasters to me. Get out his weapons here, if I can, without hurting them or myself. Mm. Come on, get out of there. I think I did it. Eh, good enough. There's that. There's this eh, claw thing as well. Liberate that and his cape, which is in there, locked in there some way or another. See, this is where it'd be really handy to be able to open up the actual box box. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out for now. All right, there he is, whatever those weapons are. Just gonna, I have to get the, uh, eh. I have to uh, get this thing off here. Yeah, I gather he's supposed to theoretically be an actual Decepticon. 
part of uh, Megatron's army. Although I am a Transformers the movie guy, so um, Galvatron <laughs> would be my, my homeboy. Because, having grown up in... Well, see, you know, born in 1977, so we're do the math. What a geezer I am. And, um... You know, I was... I grew up with Transformers. But I wasn't really, like, super conscious of anything until I was... Until, like, the 80s. Like, the, the, the mid-80s. So, for me... The first Transformers, the first real Transformers, was Transformers the movie. That was the one that really captured my imagination. And um, those are the characters, and that's the version of Transformers that I still um, have the most affection for today. Um, and uh, and I'm glad that it actually still holds up as well. <laughs> like Transformers the movie is actually still enjoyable to watch in a way that the actual cartoon the Saturday morning cartoon is very much not anymore. Like, it's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fellow Transformer fans. The original cartoon is just awful. <laughs> it is, it is painful to watch most of the time, but the Transformers, the movie actually still holds up a little bit of wonky stuff with, uh, uh, time, <laughs> like how time works in that movie and, uh, distance and so on. But, um, the animation still holds up. The story is good enough. Uh, the voice acting, everything is is good enough. So I still enjoy watching Transformers the movie, and that's sort of my Transformers still. But enough about that. Now we're looking at Draculus here. Who, uh, yeah, they did the most obvious choice. They took the giant bat Transformer and made him into Dracula with a little bit of re-sculpting to try and affect Dracula's suit, his evening, his evening wear here, which is a bit of a strange choice. Just insofar as um, it's not necessarily a look that translates well <laughs> into um, into like action figure form, like transformer form. You know, like a Dracula transformer doesn't necessarily have to be wearing the Dracula evening suit. But uh, here we are. They went with that choice. So whatever. Um, we've got oof. Well, we got a nice little gun there. I don't know what that's supposed to shoot exactly. Um, wooden stakes. No, that's against him. There's a claw thing that I guess holds like that. I suppose you could also put that post there if you wanted to do that, although not the most aesthetic look, um, all told. Either, well, either way, <laughs> even if it goes like that, it's still like, yeah, it'd be better if the post was actually on the inside like that. Or does it? Oh, it moves. Oh, perfect. There we go. Even better. Yeah. The Voyage of Discovery with me in this figure. There we go. Now that's looking a little more, a little uh, more Wolverine-ish, actually. Um, all right, and I suppose this cape is supposed to go on him in one way or another, because what's Dracula without his cape? Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing that goes over there. That goes over there. Da -da -da. And I suppose these are coming supposed to go on his hands. To, eh. Let's see here. To blah blah blah. Eh. Um. Yeah, I guess if you want to transform with a cape, I don't consider the cape like as essential <laughs> an accessory, so I'm gonna remove that. Um. Yeah, it's it's a weird, it's interesting attempt to try and get a uh, a transformer that fits the the idea of universal monsters and it's also weird that it only did dracula um because frankenstein's anniversary 90th anniversary was also the same year the both movies came out in 1931 so why they didn't do a frankenstein one as well maybe because the dracula one didn't sell as well or something i don't know but then you know you would have had that planned like years in advance to make that figure so so i don't know I don't know, but I'm going to uh, transform him here, and uh, I'll get back to you once I've done that. All right, and here he is, I think, fully transformed. Uh, it was a bit of an ordeal trying to understand the instructions and where things are supposed to tab and whatnot, but I didn't put the cape on him because um, I think the cape looks dumb. <laughs> I have made that uh, that decision. Uh, it just doesn't fit with the doesn't fit with the transformer aesthetic. For someone to have a cloth cape, um, 
yeah, here he is. Here's his back, I guess, um, having to give him a permanent head instead of a headmaster head or a Titan's return head or something. Probably messes with the transformation a little bit. But the back's a little annoying. I guess his cl this thing was supposed his weapon thing is supposed to be like his tail. I guess I don't know. Not that bats are well known for having huge tails, but uh, yeah, that's him in bat form. Which I actually I I like the bat form. Bat form is pretty cool. It uh, solves some of the problems with um, the absurdity of trying to make a transformer that has a suit. It's the same thing I noticed with the um, the Star Wars Transformers figures as well. It's like I would have. Not that I collect them, because I'm not, like, a huge Star Wars fan. I suppose I could do a video about my, my journey with Star Wars over my lifetime, being born in the same year the first movie came out. Um, but uh, one thing I didn't care for them as toys, the Transformer Star Wars crossovers, is that, you know, you'd have the Millennium Falcon, and they would transform to look like, what, like Han Solo or something. Or you'd have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and have it transform to look like Darth Vader. When it's like, no, it should just transform to look like a Transformer who is a TIE Fighter. Or a Transformer who is the Millennium Falcon. And he's just hanging out with Han Solo and Chewbacca. Not transforming to look like Han Solo or Chewbacca or whatever. So, um, but I guess the thing with, with these is like, okay, they, they want to go for the, oh, he's recognizably Dracula, right? It's a Universal Monsters crossover. So they have to make him look like Dracula, I guess. Because otherwise, he would just be a bat transformer, and they already have that with, like, Mindwipe or whoever, whichever the the um, the headmaster is. That's a bat. So, you know, it's, it's like, okay, sure. Um, <laughs> but I think I prefer the bat form, just because it's like, okay, it's a cybernetic bat. And he's got uh, some nice paint app here, actually, the sort of... A little bit more pink. It's sort of a ruby red. Right? Rubies aren't actually a deep red. Rubies are a little bit more of a pink. So it's sort of that, that ruby red kind of look. As opposed to a blood red. Is not too bad. Um, generally well-formed bat mode. Uh, I do appreciate that. A uh, little bit more than I appreciate the robot mode. And I'm going to uh, see if I can get them back into that now. Uh, now that I have a sense of how to transform. Uh, transform him. So I'll see if I can transform him back here on camera. Um, yeah, it's it's um, a bit. It's an interesting crossover as well. I mean the uh, the whole um, you know various sort of crossover things they've been doing. Right, they've got uh, what the Top Gun crossover one, the the Ecto one. Uh, crossover with Ghostbusters, the um, the uh, what the Blackbird or with X Men, which I did I did like that one as well. That's sort of like what I was talking about. They they went with a character, they created a character with uh, turning the Blackbird into a into a uh, Transformer that has X Menish things. Right, he's got like the uh, the sort of claws and the um like the wolverine sort of claws but crossed with like psylocke it's got the the cyclops eye beams and all that sort of stuff but he's still supposed to be original character um not necessarily like he is wolverine as a transformer um so that is not right <laughs> there we go um right he's back in his his uh, robot mode Oh, that leg is weird. <laughs> I didn't... Okay, what is going on here? That That is more correct. Which means this is not... That has to get moved around. There we go. I think I got it. And if not, I got it good enough for government work. Um, yeah, it's... It's... Um, where was I? Right. So you got those, those uh, ones where it's like... There's also something to work with with Transformers, right? Because you have these iconic... Um, those legs might not be right. Um, you got these iconic vehicles. And that translates really well into Transformers. Because, well, you got the vehicles, right? But then you have this Universal Monsters <laughs> Transformer. Where it's like, okay, you have the aesthetics of, like, 1930s movies. Gothic horror movies. How does that translate into Transformers? And could you imagine, you know, like seeing 
um, a you know a big gothic castle on Cybertron <laughs> with Draculus uh, as its as its owner, and it's a it's a weird hybrid. Not that Universal monsters are you know alien, foreign to uh, strange crossovers. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein being the primary thing. It's just it's interesting. It's strange. Um, I said a, a figure that I wouldn't have bought for myself, but I'm glad I got him for a present uh, because it is. It is fun nonetheless to have that crossover, uh, even if like the effect is a bit strange and the you know they're going for a the Dracula suit as opposed to I don't know what <laughs> again it's easy to complain when you don't know what it is exactly that you want um, so I'm not sure what they could have done to make a Dracula transformer that communicates Dracula without having it be the suit other than being a Dracula in name only. Um, but uh, overall, I mean, it's 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 an interesting, strange experiment in crossovers. Uh, I probably suppose no more strange than Universal Monsters and Ninja Turtles. Uh, overall, though, I mean, okay figure. Uh, looks all right. Kibble on the back. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual complaints that a Transformer fan has. I guess that's supposed to plug into that hole, maybe? Eh, whatever. We'll sit back there. Prefer him without the cape, without the cloth cape. That's an unnecessary accessory. Um, is he going to be fighting Optimus Prime and stuff? I, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, it was thanks to uh, thanks to my friend Steven for getting me the Universal Monster Transformer crossover. And uh, can't say I'm itching for uh, more Universal Monster crossover figures. Uh, still working on just getting the, the NECA ones in my neck of the woods. But yeah, so there, there we go. Little uh, Christmas roundup of uh, of one of my more fun presents. Yeah.